guys, my name is Sabine and I'm here with my makeupless face again. Oh, I still don't feel 100% comfortable without makeup on my channel, but here it is. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's not that I feel ugly without makeup, but it's just different and you guys will probably think that too. But whatever, you guys asked me for like an updated get ready with me video in my last one because in my first and previous get ready with me I was super super nervous for university and I was just having so many things on my mind and right now I came back from university. I had my first week, my introduction week and as you can see I am uh, sort of sponsoring, like representing my university with this sweater and it's so comfy by the way. So in this get ready with me video I just wanted to talk about this first week, about my impressions that I've done and also a little bit more personally about me again and about boyfriends because I don't know I just want to pick some topics that you guys might be interested in maybe if you guys have any other topics that you want me to talk about in my next get ready with me video please let it know in the comments down below because I just I just loved all of your feedback in the latest one because you guys were just so sweet and so supportive of me and it definitely really helped me with my anxiety about going to university okay so I'm not really gonna mention all the things that I'm gonna apply to my face because they are the exact same things that I did in my last video so um, I will just leave the product names of my makeup things in the description down below as well. But, okay, I'm just gonna maybe explain the teeny tiniest things again. So I'm just gonna clean my face with this Garnier stuff because my face is probably a little dirty from sleeping. Um, okay, so let's talk. Um, this week was the first week of uni for me. And the first week is not really like that eventful. Well, it is actually, but not in like a school kind of way. We were divided into groups because there are 175 people uh, that are gonna do biomedical sciences at the University of Utrecht. And we cannot do an introduction with 175 people at the same time. So uh, we were divided into groups and I was divided into group 11. And uh, we were with, with me, there were 13 people in that group plus my mentor. Dang, hello, Tino. <laughs> I told him about my YouTube, so uh, he's getting a little shout out right here, right now. And uh, I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised by this intro week. I told him that as well because I was super, super nervous. As you guys could tell, probably in my um, <laughs> previous Get Ready With Me video, I was so incredibly nervous because I did not know anyone and I usually get really scared when I am just like lonely being thrown into this new world and stuff like that and this week was definitely hectic and um but I made it because I'm here <laughs> so on Monday we met with like the whole group um that we were going to spend our intro week with and the rest of the first half of the year and the people are really, really nice. I had a great time. I definitely made some good friends and we just had a lot of fun. Um, so I'm just gonna get you through the week with me if you don't mind. I really do need to think about what we did because we did so many things that I keep confusing myself. So on Monday, we met with our group and our mentor at his place. Um, and we just did like the general talk. We just kind of met and, you know, talking about our lives and stuff like that. Um, then we went to the university, we got a little speech um, and a tour through the buildings because our building is, uh, ooh, oh my God, I touched my makeup. Uh, the building for biomedical sciences is like uh, right next to the hospital. Just had one really big tour of that. Um, after that, we went to have dinner at a pizzeria, which is right next to the canal. So that was a ton of fun and the setting was just really just, nice to sit there it just was super cute and we had dinner and afterwards we went to a i'm gonna call it a pub uh that was that is like a specific pub for biomedical sciences and again so much fun we did we did like card games and i'm not the as you guys probably know i'm not the biggest fan of going out but since this week like i just had so much fun and i can definitely see myself going out more often in Utrecht or going to the pubs because it was just so much fun and we did like card games so I should have probably known a lot of those card games already but because I don't go out that often I didn't. <laughs> I learned some things guys <laughs> and I'm really happy that I did um, and afterwards we went to Stairway to Heaven which was a club and I really really liked that club right there because for once they finally had some decent music because 
uh, when I go out uh, here in my own hometown, we have all of this like super Dutch music, which I completely hate. And um, there in Stairway, it was also just like top 50 music. Like, and I really like that because I could finally sing some songs in the club. So I was really proud of myself. Then I went to sleep with uh, one of my friends here from high school because she's also going to Utrecht. So, and after that on Tuesday, we had our first lecture. So it was kind of like an introduction to biomedical sciences. And after that, we had some time off. So I went to my dorm and then it kind of just all hit me what I was doing. I definitely had ups and downs this week, mostly at the beginning of the week. Um, just being in my dorm without my parents, without anyone that I truly know that I trust. It was just really, really hard for me, especially on Tuesday when we, when I had like three or four hours of spare time after my lectures and in between um, doing drinks again with the group. I It hit me hard, I have to say. I definitely, balled my eyes out, which is really kind of embarrassing to say, but then again, it's really normal. After my little meltdown, I calmed down and I, um, we just went to FC Utrecht, which is like the football stadium, like the football club of Utrecht. And there we had uh, dinner with the whole group and we got like accepted into the uh, Biomedical Sciences Society. And again, we were just talking all the time having fun and after that you could sort of like look at other societies that you could join. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna join another society because I don't know, I already feel like I'm not gonna have a lot of time besides lectures and projects and stuff like that. But we shall see, maybe in the future because I do, I would really like to be a part of a tiny group in uh, biomedical sciences as well. I just feel like it would be like, I feel like I would be having a great, great time. And then on Wednesday, we had a tour through the buildings again. Um, and let's see, what did we do after? Oh yeah, we went canoeing. Is that how you pronounce it in English? I'm not too sure. Uh, it was so funny because we had to like do canoeing or we had to cano. I don't know how to pronounce this for like one hour and the water, it was just really cold outside. We also got a ton of water on our clothes and it was raining for like five minutes, like really, really heavy. And everyone was just <laughs> shaking because we were canoeing to a barbecue and at the barbecue, everyone was just like so cold. <laughs> I don't know, it just was funny. And uh, at that barbecue, they also had like these really weird bubbles that you can go into and then you can like bounce against people. And then we went, um, we canoed back and which went so much faster because I went with my mentor afterwards at like midnight. Uh, I went to this little park and we went drinking there. So I drank some wine. <laughs> and then we went into Utrecht by bike and I didn't have a bike so I had to sit uh, <laughs> I had to sit on a bike with my mentor as well and I usually take a person on my bike and I'm not the one sitting on the bike myself so I trained my abs really really well I could definitely feel them I was like oh my god this is how it feels when you have abs so hey and then we went to Puma which is also like this club that you can go to and I like that um, but I feel like there was less music that you could really like sing to and I really like it when I can sing to music um, so but it was still a ton of fun again on Thursday we had lectures again everyone was like so so tired uh, that day because we we just had like three super busy days and we went out two out of the three days and then on um, Thursday we also had biking dinner so we went to different mentors and ate different courses of the meal and then at dessert we all came together at my mentor's house again and we did 30 seconds I don't know if you guys know that game uh, where you have to like describe you get like five words and in 30 seconds you have to try to describe them without saying the word itself or, you know, part of the word and then other people have to guess it. Uh, again, so much fun. I keep saying fun because I had a lot of fun this week. And after that we went to pubs because we, got, we were gonna do like a pub tour from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. And then we would go to a different pub every single hour, but it was just so busy. So my mentor was just like, well, 
guys, we can do our own little pub tour. Yeah, so again, we played card games, we drank some wine, or at least I drank some wine. Um, all the other people drank beer, and I still don't like beer, guys. Um, some of my friends told me, well, after your intro week, you are gonna like beer. No, bitch. <laughs> I still don't like it. Let's see, what, we, what did we do on Friday? I think, oh yeah, we had another class, and then after that, I was done. But you can also, like, go to this, um, sort of, like, after party. It was not a party, definitely not, but you can get some, like, drinks and ice creams. Um, so I went to that for, like, 15 minutes, and then I went home, and right now I've been home for, like, one and a half days again, and, uh, uh, it's just also really really nice to be home, but I mean I just met some really awesome people and I definitely hope that with a couple of people that I've met This week I will definitely stay in contact with them and on my way back home I also randomly like super randomly met this girl on the train She was just sitting next to me and I was getting something out of my bag and she was like, oh my god Are you also studying biomedical sciences at the University of Utrecht and then we started talking? I don't know this week has been so much better than I thought it would be. Just the people in my group and my mentor, they were just so nice and made me feel very welcome. Again, so much fun. I'm, I'm basically ready with my face. Right now I'm gonna do my eyes, but usually I cannot really speak when I do eyeliner, so. <laughs> so yeah, right now during the weekend, all I did yesterday was prepare for my classes for next week because I have this huge, like, gigantic book that I have to study things out and I have to prepare things before my lectures. So I'm trying to do that and be a good student. That was, like, my first week of uni. Just, I met so many people. We did so many things. I am still quite exhausted. And now I'm just gonna have to get used to living on my own. And that is still a thing that I definitely need to get used to. I'm gonna have to do my liquid eyeliner. So I really, really cannot talk right now. So right now, let's talk about a different topic than university because I've been talking about that for the majority of this video. Let's talk about boyfriends and I've just been meaning to talk about that because boyfriends have been just a really rough topic for me to talk about because I have never had a boyfriend or I've never had like someone that I liked who liked me back. It's always been that I liked the guy and they didn't like me in that way which really really sucks. Um, or I had guys like me that I really didn't like in that way, which sucked for them. It has just never been that I liked a guy and he liked me and yeah. I've definitely met a couple of guys who are super, super nice and respectful, but like I just don't know if they would like me in that way back or like, I don't know. There aren't that many guys who are like super respectful to girls. So many of my friends, I, I definitely want to say like, like 80 or 90 percent and then i'm not exaggerating like i'm truly being honest have had boyfriends or like almost relationships in the past before well i have never had that and i'm still really young i know that guys i'm only 18 so i still have my whole life in front of me it might even happen this year which i really really hope it might happen next year or I don't know, I just really hope that I'm not gonna be 23 when I'm gonna get my first boyfriend because that would just really kind of suck. I'm also not gonna have a boyfriend right now because I wanna have a boyfriend. If Just if it would happen this year, I would be really, really happy about it, but I'm not forcing anything. And I'm also not really someone who is just gonna make out with guys in the club. I know that a ton of girls do that, and if they wanna do that, I'm fine with that. Like, I'm not really gonna judge you. It's just not that I'm the type of person who's gonna kiss 10 boys in one night. And it's not that I'm a prude or anything. Like, I totally would love to have a boyfriend, but I'm just not gonna, I don't know. When it's gonna come, it's gonna come, you know? And there will probably be also a ton of you guys who will tell me the same thing that, you know, it's gonna happen when it's gonna happen. I just hope that it's gonna happen soon. <laughs> Let me know, do you guys have any boyfriends or girlfriends or, I don't know, just tell me a little bit about yourself. Like, a couple of my friends still have like super long relationships. Like one of my friends has had a relationship for almost three years right now, which is crazy. And I think that they are a really lovely couple. And then one of my other friends is, is having like a relationship of one and a half years right now, which is also amazing. And they all have just such amazing boyfriends that I hope that I will have a really nice boyfriend too in the future. And that, I don't know, it would just be really nice if we'd all, if we could all like hang out and do fun stuff together. It's not that I'm like the only one who doesn't have a 
boyfriend, but I'm definitely one of the few. Fortunately, my best friend also doesn't have a boyfriend, so we can still hang out all the time. <laughs> so I'm done with the eyeliner. The only thing that's left to do is mascara and uh, lipstick. Oh, <laughs> something really funny happened this week too. So on Wednesday, when we, when we went to the park, uh, <laughs> I put on some liquid lipstick and we were doing this game and... <laughs> <laughs> I was drink I was drinking some wine and apparently something went wrong with like the mixture of liquid lipstick and alcohol because my mentor was like, uh, oh my god, you have super blue lips and my lipstick was pink. <laughs> so my lipstick was pink before I drank alcohol and then my lipstick was so blue. So I was just like rubbing it off of my lips because it was like, I'm not gonna go into the club with super blue lips. And it was just something that I've learned. So I'm not gonna apply liquid lipstick and then drink alcohol because apparently that's not the best combination <laughs> that you can have. And now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes, which always looks like I'm gonna torture myself. So tell me guys, what did you do this week? Like, let me know if you also had school or Maybe you still have a vacation because I know some people in the UK who are gonna start uni this end of the uh, at the end of September, so they still have time off. So still talking about uni, but this semester I'm gonna learn about uh, cells and like the pro uh, the processes in cells. Plus I'm also gonna do a project which is gonna be about cancer cells, like tumors. I just truly hope that I'm gonna like this first semester because. This is the only study that I wanted to do, and if it's not gonna be for me, then I kind of feel like I'm gonna be fucked. And about my uploading schedule, I am trying to record, or I'm gonna try and record two videos during the weekend, and then I can edit it throughout the week and upload it just whenever I want to. I really hope that I'm gonna be able to keep up with that because like I said in my previous like get ready with me video or my September TBR, like, I truly, I truly want to keep on doing this because I really like making videos. Plus, I'm also going to hit 2,000 subscribers, which is like, it is like a milestone, guys. Even though there are like YouTubers here who have like 40 or what is it, 50 million uh, followers like PewDiePie, then 2,000 is like, it's just so very little. To me, in this like small YouTube community, 2,000 subscribers is a lot and I'm really glad that you guys enjoy watching my videos. I just really wanted to say that I just really love it when you guys comment on my videos. It definitely makes my day. So my face makeup and everything is done. The only thing that's left to do is lips. So I'm gonna have a look where I put my liquid lipstick. So I left a ton of my favorite liquid lipsticks in uh, Utrecht. So <laughs> I cannot get those right now, but I'm gonna use this ColourPop ultra blotted lip in slide which is sort of it's not really a liquid lipstick it's not a lip gloss like it is very transparent but it dries up uh, it dries matte i'm just gonna apply it right now and shut up <laughs> can you guys see like it gives just a little teeny tiny tint to the lips Whew, i talked so much like i can feel that i'm physically exhausted because i talked for like 30 minutes i hope that you guys liked listening to me talk about uni like most of the time and then boyfriends and stuff like that and maybe leave some suggestions for my next get ready with me video or i might be doing like a language challenge anytime soon because i can speak five languages so i feel like it would be really interesting to talk in different languages on this channel if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos if you guys want to follow me on all of my personal like social media things i have goodreads so you guys can keep up with what i'm currently reading what i'm reading my books etc i also have bookstagram personal instagram snapchat and i have a email address i really had to think about that one but all of that will be in the description down below so you guys can check it out and do with it whatever you want. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. It means a lot to me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!